Hey guys, how are you? Today is going to be a different video. Normally I do thrifting videos or clothing videos, but I had been reading so much. I just wanted to sit down and kind of talk about books I've read recently, kind of what they're about, and then like what I thought about them. And of course, leave all the books that you guys have read down below. I am always looking for new suggestions and I'm just always on the hunt for the next book. So I use a Kindle, so it's actually my grandma's. It, I think it's a Fire, Kindle Fire, is that a thing? Um, I think it is, but I love it. So this is where I read all my books. Um, so we'll kind of just go through all the books that I've read and then we will talk about them. Um, on my Instagram, it's underscore mbarb, E-M-B-A-R-B. I'll put it right here for you guys. I added a highlight on my Instagram of all the books that I've read and then like, the score that I gave each one. Um, just like for like my own sake, like just to kind of remember like what I thought about that book because honestly, like soon as I'm done, I'm like, I forget what it was even about. So I have it on there just kind of like reference. So go check it out, go give me a follow. Um, but yeah, let's jump into it. So the first book that kind of got me in the mood to like start reading and stop watching so much TV was When We Believed in Mermaids by Barbara O'Neill. Um, I thought this was okay. It was, um, about a family that lived on the water and there was some tragedy within the family. Um, some of the family members passed away. Um, so the main character was the daughter and she was just trying to basically just find her way through life, if I can remember correctly. Don't quote me on all of these like descriptions because it's been like a year or so. So I found this like, okay, I think I rated it like a six or seven out of 10. It just like didn't give me too much. Like there was, it was just kind of like, I found it like kind of boring. It's definitely going to be like the first book I recommend to anyone, um, but it was good, easy read. The next book that I read was Have You Seen Louis Velez by Catherine Ryan Hyde. This one was kind of fun, um, but, I felt like it was kind of like a book I would be told to read in school. Like, I don't know. It's about um, this apartment building and there's a young kid named, um, I don't remember, I don't even remember his name. But there's a young kid and um, he goes down to visit this older woman in the apartment building and the older woman found out that someone, that the person that always came and visited her, his name was Louis Velez. So Louis went missing. So the whole time um, they kind of become like partners in crime and try to figure out like what happened to Louis. Um, again, because I felt like it was kind of like, it was definitely like YA and just like not like my favorite thing I've ever read. Um, I think I gave it like a six or seven out of 10. The next one I read is Detransition Baby by Tori Peters. This one was so interesting and I was really glad that I read it because um, it's all about um, a few characters and they're transgender and it's talking about how um, someone transitions and then they want to detransition. So say they were female, transition to male, they want to detransition back to female. Don't quote me again, but that's kind of like what I was getting from it. Um, I thought it was very interesting. It was about kind of like three different characters and just kind of like how they interacted and just kind of like their dynamic. Um, I thought it was really interesting. Um, on the Kindle, the chapters are super long, which I, don't know, I just don't really like that. But like if, it was, if you have like an actual like copy of the book, you wouldn't even notice. It was very interesting and you really have to pay attention. Um, the end, I'm not even going to spoil it, but yeah go check it out i would i think i rated that one a like seven or eight out of ten it was really good and it was just a lot like really eye-opening because i've never heard um or knew too much about like detransitioning next one i read was such a fun age by kylie reed this one i was seeing everywhere like it was all over like my instagram of different um, influencers kind of reading it so i jumped on the train it's about um a babysitter who um, was about a babysitter who was babysitting this little girl and they were, you know, she was African-American and the cops at the grocery store were like not treating her right and assuming that she stole the kid. It was like a whole thing. So it was like a good conversation about like race, which I liked, of course. Um, so that was really good. It was an easy read and I really liked it. So I think I rated eight or nine out of 10, as you can tell, like, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit of a harsh reader. 
The next one was The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. If you have not heard about this book, where have you been? Like this book has been everywhere. It was one of my favorite books I've read in this whole like six months, eight months, whatever it's been. Like this has been one of my favorites. Um, it is just so interesting. It's about Evelyn Hugo. She is an actress. Um, old Hollywood. It was just like really like glamorous, which I liked. She wanted to work with this reporter to write a memoir before she passed. Um, so it was kind of like just the conversations, but basically just kind of like described Evelyn's husbands, all seven of them. And it was just really interesting and a lot of twists and a lot of turns. And I really, really liked that. So I rated that a 10 out of 10. Like you guys have to go read that one. Okay, the next book I read is It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. She's all the hype right now. I read two books of hers. So the first one was It Ends With Us. This one was really good. It was the typical romance novel. So of course it was good. Um, just about, you know, boy meets girl, girl still thinking about previous relationship, just kind of how it all plays out. It was really good. Like it was an easy read. I think I rated it like a eight out of 10. It was good. And I love the way like Colleen Hoover like writes. Like I find it like very enjoyable. Speaking of her, I read Verity. Guys, if you get one thing from this video, run and read Verity, okay? It is one of my favorite books. I can't stop thinking about it. And it's been like one to two weeks since I've read it. It's by Colleen Hoover again. It is so good. It is like a little bit of a thriller. And I guess I didn't realize like that's like what was happening. Um, but it's kind of like a thriller. An author and she got... Um, propose that she needs to finish like this really famous author's um, series like there's like six books and she's read the seventh or something like that um, and then it just kind of catapults from there and that's all I'm gonna say because I don't want to give anything away but it was amazing and till the very last page I didn't know what was going on 10 out of 10 next book I read it, I actually thrifted it which I was so excited because I usually just read on my kindle but I actually like read it like as a hard copy and it's just I, I kind of love a hard copy but I just don't want to store all these books so it was The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty it was so good um I really like her writing style as well so this one is kind of like difficult to kind of explain there it was basically about like just like there's like six or seven characters and they were all related in some way like they was all like in the same town so like they're all like again like related in some way like not like biologically but like just with their actions and what they're involved with and where they work and all of that so that was kind of cool um it's kind of difficult for me to understand like who was who at the beginning but I caught on pretty fast um but the husband's secret basically the wife found a letter and um in the attic from her husband and he said read this to my children when I die so she the whole thing is like do you read the letter um it was actually really interesting i found that it was predictable towards the end on like what was in the letter um but it was really good i would recommend i think i rated like a seven or eight out of ten the next book i read is seven days in june by tia williams it had like some kind of like award i think it was like reese's book club or something but it was really really good i really liked it um it was about a romance author and she has a daughter and then she kind of like falls in love it's like another romance novel um i don't know i i don't remember like the details of it all honestly like i've read so much but it was really good i think i rated it a nine out of ten so i would definitely recommend that one i also like tia williams um writing style like i don't like when they switch perspectives too much and she didn't really do that so i kind of like that book almost done I think I only have one left and it's what I'm reading right now yeah that's it so the book I'm reading currently I'm sure you guys have heard of it is Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid this one so far I'm literally eight percent in so I don't really can't say much um but from what I'm understanding like what's like on Amazon like what it's about it's about four ki four siblings and they had a big house party and there was a fire so that's like what I'm like from what I've gathered so far but I've heard that it kind of switches perspectives from the four kids and then like their parents and like how they met and then they kind of like collide in some way but a really fun fact about Malibu Rising which um I think is so fun so it is the same author as the seven Hus husbands of Evelyn Hugo 
like Evelyn was mentioned in Malibu Rising. So like, I guess like the characters kind of like overlap, especially like if it's like the old Hollywood kind of um, scene. So I'm like excited. I think that's kind of cool. Like when they do that. So, um, but you don't need to read Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo to read Malibu Rising and vice versa. So that is all the books that I have read. Like I said, please let me know like what you guys have been reading. And if you kind of like learning more about like, you know, how I feel about bo some books I've read and stuff like that. Um, but again, go check out my Instagram highlight because I keep that up to date um, pretty well. And I also have a Goodreads that you guys should check out. It is a website and you can kind of look at different reviews that other people post and then um, you can rate your own and write reviews and just kind of rate on there. So I found that very helpful. Um, so check it out. And of course, let me know if you have any other authors or books that you need me to check out because I have a list, but I want it to keep growing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you guys in the next one.